next level i feel like um yeah Fitz's family is sort of like the quietly like repressed pedestrian messed up but i yeah. feel like Oli olivia as she does in so many other arenas olivia overachieves in terms of it's epically true. messed up family. epically messed up because you know uh the secrecy the mm. hidden buried secrets and the talents in, they are both good at what they do i know in that family um, that have been held for, you know, decades um, are prodigious. <laughs> that Shonda and our team write everything. They, even when the stakes are high, even when it seems like hyperbole, everything is rooted so deeply in truly human moments that people recognize and that resonate with people. Uh, and it keeps you drawn in. You see yourself in the characters, even though they're in extreme situations. You understand why they're doing what they're doing and you just can't stop. You scream at them on the television or you cry for them and you laugh with them, but they're, they, they breathe, they're real. <laughs> Auntie Melly! <laughs> Auntie Melly! I mean, come on. Um, he has to say that or it's strangling. Yeah, 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 yeah. And since I'm with my Bellamy, I'm Team Melly. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Melly's a lot sexier. <laughs> um, hardly, um, hardly. And Miss, Miss Cyrus is sexier <laughs> no, in her no, own way. And, uh, you know, it's funny. The, but Bella, me and I talk about it. And we had occasion at the White House Correspondents' Dinner. I was part of a little panel with a real press secretary and a real uh, chief of staff. And I was reminded once again how wifely, how spousal, mm -hmm the chief of staff relationship is with the president. And so Shonda's captured something that's just organically true, is that there's going to be a lot of crossover in caregiver, mm -hmm. confidant, you know, uh, looking out for the president's time, well-being, health, you know, da, 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 protectiveness, all of that in, in these two relationships. Um, and, 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 and Bellamy and Cyrus, she's also decided to make, you know, uh, Be uh, uh, Melly is just as brilliant as a Michelle Obama and a Hillary Clinton, just as smart, uh, makes a point of saying, I graduated in law school ahead of you, Fitz, so don't get too smart, and, you know, and all of that. And, um, and so she's made very formidable politicians mm -hmm. out of both of them and yet kept this interesting frustration level mm -hmm. of they can't quite, they'd both like to go get out of the way and quit screwing things up, I'll run the country. Exactly. <laughs> you know? Exactly. Right? That's a sort of a common thing with them. A uh, gift, that's how I would describe it. Shonda writes so beautifully um, for everyone, but particularly uh, for women. Um, as a woman, a 40-year-old woman in Hollywood, 44-year-old woman in Hollywood, uh, it is rare that I should be given a chance to be this complicated on television. Uh, so to have these monologues, to have these relationships, to have these moments, it's, it's, it's like winning the lottery. It really is. And, Sh and Shonda is the most thoughtful leader. She, you are in such good care because on every level, both as human beings and as characters, she loves and cares for us so deeply. And there's never a doubt in my mind that she has all of our best interests at heart. It's, True. We're in a point of privilege. Mm -hmm. 